Hello everybody and welcome back to Mildly Infuriated. Speaking of, I have this hair that absolutely refuses to go down, so you get to enjoy that. Let's start off with number 19. Paid $10 to be allowed to pay rent. You've made a payment of $800. Includes a $10 transaction fee. That's very nice. I bet this is like in sweepstakes. They have to legally have a no purchase necessary method of entry with like mailing and a postcard or doing some really inconvenient thing that nobody ends up doing. In this case, there's probably a way to mail in a check so that you can avoid the $10 transaction fee, but the landlord's like, it's way more convenient if I don't have to cash checks and just receive the money directly in my bank account. And the platform is like, hey, we need our cut too. So there's a way around it, probably but it's more inconvenient and that's annoying. My parents took my brand new ax without my knowledge and sharpened it using a bench grinder. <clears throat> this looks like the edge of like a video game ax or something that's meant to show that it's been worn. It's got some polygonization at the edge of the blade or something. Was your ax like fine? And they were just like, hey, we should, I wanna see if we can sharpen an ax using this tool that we have in here. It hasn't received exercise in a while, so let's try it on this. I'm sure he won't be mad. It's like the reverse. Usually you'd expect the little kid to do this with the parent tool, but instead they gave it the old switcheroo. Maybe as payback for something that you did as a child, or they were just being inconsiderate. My watch gives me a BPM measure for inanimate objects. Hmm. That um, is strange. I've had weird instances in the past. Here's the part where people in the comments are gonna be like, yeah, you may need to check that out at a, at a doctor. But I've had instances in the past where I've like grabbed the handholds on exercise machines and it'll say that my heart rate is like 10 or something. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's um, not accurate. I don't think I'd be alive. So I'm inclined not to trust the heart rate measurements very much. And these are the ones that are like meant for that purpose. This is built into a, a watch that's supposed to do a whole bunch of things. But I don't know, you playing music in the background? Maybe we got some bumping subwoofer that's causing your watch to... I don't know, man. I've never worn one of these. My husband said he stopped pissing off the deck at night. Poor deck. What did it do to deserve to be made angry, okay? He keeps being so mean to it and pissing it off. <laughs> I'm, I'm just like concerned. I'm, <laughs> there's snow out there. I'm seeing bare footprints. I was half expecting for it to be like, this is the gateway to the, the piss. And you unlock it and then you just go off into the woods. But there's no footprints here. It's all over off to the side. You'd think that if you were gonna claim that you had stopped doing something, you'd make really sure to literally cover your tracks, but apparently not. <laughs> Why though? Why would you do this? You have a better, perfectly good bathroom in the house. Why do you go outside and pee off into the wilderness in sub-zero temperatures? This makes no sense. That's uncomfortable. What my roommate bought for her turn to replace the dish soap. <laughs> Hello, yeah, can you get some more uh, dish soap? We just went through our, our big, like, 32-ounce uh, bulk bottle. It'd be really cool. Okay, don't worry, I got you. <laughs> Proceeds to buy. I bet this is also really expensive per ounce versus the big bottle. I bet this costs, like, three times as much per ounce, even though it's, like, the price of the unit is less. But you're just gonna finish it in a few days. Hey, at least hopefully they didn't use this and put it in the dishwasher to add insult to injury and then ruin everything. I've accidentally done that before. <laughs> don't, don't do that. I, I mixed up the fluids. Yeah, it wasn't great. I saw the new Broadway national tour of the musical Shrek. I paid a Broadway ticket price. The photo on the bottom is what I expected. The photo on top is what I got. Mom, let's go <laughs> see Shrek the musical. But we have Shrek the Musical at home. Why does it look so different than the photos advertised? You'd think if it was a touring play or something, which I don't really, I don't go to plays, but you'd think that it would actually match the marketing. 
materials. Aren't tickets to plays like pretty expensive? Again, I don't know. I haven't looked it up, but I assume it's more expensive than a movie. And they, you know, they have the fancy like box seats up in the corner and stuff like that. Or maybe they don't do that anymore. I don't know if it's on Broadway, they probably do. But I guess this wasn't on Broadway. So they're like, hey, you know, we'll call it the Broadway play. But since it's not actually on Broadway in New York City, uh, we're just going to downgrade it a bit. Power board to fit in the corner, except the cable comes out of the corner. Hey, I remember this one. Here it is again, if you didn't see it in the previous video that we had here. You had one job. Dumb. Received a paw print after putting our cat down. This is not our cat. Our cat is a polydactyl and it has five toes in her back paws. I wonder if they mixed up paw prints or if they just have a generic cast that they use and most people probably aren't able to tell the difference because I don't think they really inspect their pet footprints very often. So they're like, you know, we can give this nice gesture to people. You're really not going to notice if we cut down on costs by not having to do custom molds for every single animal. Oh God, sometimes animals have differing numbers of toes. <clears throat> well, every now and again, we'll have a dissatisfied customer, I suppose. I'm sorry that you lost your cat. That's sad. I hope they lived a very long and happy life. My wife found this in the break room today. Closing early due to undependable teenagers. Sorry. I, I like the very pretty uh, handwriting font to go with the message. Is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? Are we happy that we're getting off work early or we're not happy because we taking the photo are an undependable teenager or we're not going to get paid for a full shift because we're closing early someone else is it that the other employees are independent teenagers and therefore they have to close early because they didn't show up for work i have a lot of questions as to what exactly this means i have to imagine it's not going to get paid for full shift because closing early probably maybe but they really worked hard on the handwriting <laughs> to try to like juxtaposition between the handwriting of this is what I expect on a, a nice positive note. They're very happy to write this down and the font's gonna go with, but no, it's like, here's bad news. But hopefully the, the handwriting makes up for it and we can all be <laughs> happy. The two of these cookies came from Girl Scouts for $6, the other two from Aldi's for $1.89. Okay, well, I mean, at, here's the thing. You're, I feel like you're paying a Girl Scout cookie premium knowingly, usually, because they're trying to raise money via the cookie sales, right? That's always been the way I've thought about it. I didn't think there's no other way to get a comparable cookie at a cheaper price anywhere else. It's just they have the branding association with their various types of cookies, and you know that there is going to be a premium there for fundraising. This doesn't seem that mildly infuriating. This just seems like, yeah, that's kind of how it is. If you're looking to save the most, there are other options out there in the cookie department that are pretty identical. So I don't know, man, but I do love me some Thin Mints. <laughs> Wanted to look at the ingredients on my chili oil and found this. Lorem Ips... <laughs> my, f my favorite, also Delore, Lorem Ipsum Pain. <laughs> the sample text pain is included in this. How did they get past quality control? Also, is that question mark, question mark, servings for bottle, zero, zero, everything <laughs> for allergens. See ingredients in bold. Oh God, Ipsum, the world's biggest allergy causer. <laughs> I have an Ipsum allergy. I break out in hives anytime that I see sample text. How did this get past anyone? I'm pretty sure you'd be in big trouble, actually, if this was widely distributed and you had no nutrition facts at all and you just had a sample that you're supposed to fill in. Probably wouldn't go super well for that company. It won't hurt, they said. Oh, God. Why did why did you have a Tesla logo inserted in... <laughs> Sorry, I know that this is an IUD. <laughs> just... Now, I know they predated the Tesla logo as well, but now I really just have like association with a Tesla logo or something. I, uh, I've not experienced this firsthand, but I have heard that it 
doesn't feel good. And doesn't feel good is a bit of an understatement that it is like the worst pain someone may actually ever encounter in their life, depending upon if they end up actually, you know, deciding to have a child or not. So yeah, sorry about that, everyone who's had to experience it, but I, I hope that the results made it worth it. Or the lack of results, you might say. Took my parents out to dinner for my birthday, but they leave every 30 minutes to smoke. That's a bummer. Yeah, oh man. I guess that's, yeah, that's kind of mildly infuriating. I've, I've never dealt with an addiction of this sort, but I, you, you would think that a moment like this would really make you reflect, yeah, I really gotta, I really gotta figure out quitting. Cause if you're in a situation where you cannot carry on a family gathering for a special occasion without it being intrusive, I don't know. I don't know, hopefully, the other thing that I, 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 it seems problematic though is, you know, being on an airplane for 12 hours to get to Rome. Maybe you're not actually in Rome. Maybe that's just the placement for the Italian restaurant. But anyway, that seems like it'd be a bit more of an issue if, you know, you can't make it through dinner without having to take a break. But I guess maybe you just don't travel. I don't know. I don't know. Someone dared to put their foot on my armrest on a flight. Did you, I'm, I'm curious if you heard the people behind you going, I dare you to put the foot on the armrest. It'll be so <laughs> funny to antagonize a random person on an airplane who you've never met before. Honestly, I don't know how I'd react. I, I tell myself that if I saw this happening, like I would grab an object and I would I would tickle the foot. And I basically I would I would come back harder, right? They're doing something weird, but I'd come back even weirder. And then they would they would be like, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to pull my foot back or God, maybe they even they even take it a step further and they just they just stay solid through the the contacts, at which point I'm not entirely sure what I would what I would do. Would I just give it an elbow? I don't know. Would you get in trouble for that? Would they be like, he assaulted me? I'd be like, you put your foot on my armrest, you freaking weirdo. Here is a photo. I pushed it back. God, why do people do this? How is this so commonplace? I don't understand. I don't know if I do anything, actually. I'm so non-confrontational. My husband is an repair technician working on their fridge. Do not interact with my pregnant wife for any reason. Stay in the kitchen only until you complete your job and leave quietly. Call me for a key location at blank. Dave, we don't need or want your card. Someone has watched a few uh, internet videos <laughs> and they've made him feel a little insecure about various repairmen coming into his house while he is not there. Um, <laughs> Dave, I'm here to tell you those are scripted. It's not really how things play out. I mean, maybe once in a, in the world it has happened before. Don't think it's a very common outcome. I'm going to be honest with you, man. It's just they do it for the content. I don't think you need to worry about it otherwise. But you don't need to be that insecure, buddy. It's going to be OK. Oh, no. Hey kid, here's some identification you'll need for the rest of your life, but you're not allowed to laminate it. We went ahead and printed it on gas station toilet paper for you. <laughs> oh God. I think my mom still has mine, because if she doesn't, am I ineligible for a social security, which probably won't exist by the time I'm of retirement age? I don't know. Do you have to, do you have to go in and present this physical card to the, the people? And then they're like, okay, I guess you're you. <laughs> Good thing you held on to that for 65 years or whatever the age is or lack thereof when social security is or is not in existence when I'm 65. I should ask my mom about that actually. Yeah, it's a, it's a bad system. The fact that your identity for so many things in the United States is tied to this number that has probably been data breached on 50 billion occasions for everyone in the country. It's not good. Please come up with a new system, guys. This is from like, I don't know, 1940s? 1950s? Something like that? Let's update it. Holy frick. 
We all know about shrinkflation. Can I coin the term trickflation? Last week, $1.06, no longer available, 12 fluid ounces, 140 calories. Replacement, 237. Same amount, but the taller can. Dude, it's, oh man. I don't know what it is. I want to know the results of the focus groups, the studies that the beverage manufacturers have done on packaging because there is a definite association with the tall skinny can being a more premium product, 100%. That's why all the energy drink manufacturers, they went for like the tall can, right? No, no energy drinks come in the squatty 12 fluid ounces, right? Red Bull has a 12 ounce, but it's in the, See, they keep the proportions from like the eight ounce to the 12 ounce up and up from there. Did Red Bull kind of start it? And then everyone's like, oh, they see it as a premium product and let's do focus groups. And yeah, 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 I'm inclined to pay more because tall skinny versus the squat thing that I associate with budget soft drinks. Anyway, uh, it's, I, I'm just interested to know. This is annoying for sure, but it's like this really interesting thing because even I kind of, I, I, I have been trained that it means premium when it's the tall skinny. It's weird. It's weird. And that's ridiculous. It's more than twice the price for the same volume. Good Lord. My cousin and her kid are staying with us for a while. This is what she usually gives her five-year-old son for breakfast. Do not drink Grimace Shake outside the Grimace house. If you see Grimace outside of your house, run. Oh my God, I'm more focused on the YouTube video. Whenever you see a video with a title like this and you're like, who watches this? It is the child <laughs> at bre <laughs> breakfast, eating their breakfast of Hershey's chocolate. Oh, drone catches Masha. Don't order Masha and Bear something. Don't watch Peppa Pig EXE video at 3 a.m. <laughs> I can't, dude. Uh, right. Well, breakfast of champions. See, here's the thing. As a child, you're like, I am the coolest parent ever. And the other kids, when you tell them, they're like, you have the coolest parent ever. Why won't my parent let me watch YouTube and eat chocolate? Your parent is, and, and then if you can't do that, your parent is like, when you're older, you'll understand why I'm not letting you do this. And then you get older and you're like, yeah, you were right, mom. It's probably good you didn't let me eat chocolate for breakfast every day. <laughs> Entire library is empty. Random girl came and sat right next to me. I mean, maybe she wanted to socialize or something or I don't know. Is this the equivalent of me parking at the edge of the parking lot? And then uh, there's spaces all over the place, but way closer to the actual stores. And then someone is like, I'm gonna park next to the guy who purposely parked really far away. Probably the same sort of thing. But I guess it's a little annoying if you're hoping to just have a lot of real estate to be able to spread out your study materials and now all of a sudden someone's right there. I don't know. Maybe she has a crush on you, man. You ever th think about that? Maybe she's like really working up the courage to be like, hey, you have any interest in, you know, studying together next time? Maybe it's, uh, yeah. Maybe she's trying that. I, anyway. <laughs> That's it for the last month of mildly infuriating. Instead, she ended up top on the mildly infuriating subreddit. Oof. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.